Vinny, 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 Brad, da, 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 Nini Cooney, Brad. Did, <laughs> hi, Brad. Does that seem like an unfortunate name to you? Nini Cooney? That they didn't. Nino Cooney. Nino Cooney. Nino Cooney, Wrath of the White Witch. No, nah, it seems a whoa. It seems okay. Yeah. It's gibberishus. <laughs> is what I say. A little bit of gibberish. Gibber gibberish. Uh. Yeah. This is uh. This is ah. a new. This is a new Japanese role-playing game. Okay. From Level Five. From henceforth called RPG and, and <laughs> uh, and Studio Ghibli. Uh, so ha have they gone into the RPG market? Well, I'm actually not clear how much of this they really provided. Okay. Uh, so this is they the definitely did. So there, there's a whole lot of uh, well, not a whole lot. There's a decent amount of like 2D kind of traditional animation in this. Yeah. Uh, and they definitely did that. And this is but, a level five joint. Yeah, right? but but so that's, that's kind of the thing I'm realizing as I play more of this, like. Studio Ghibli is the thing that kind of gets your attention, yeah. but, but this is a level five ass level five game. And that's a, that's a Layton, and that's a Layton. But a, it, you know what it actually reminds me of? What does it remind uh, you of, Brad? It's taken me back to a bunch of the PS2 stuff they did, like Dark Cloud. Sure. Uh, Dark Cloud Two, like a I don't know, Rogue Galaxy. Yeah, Rogue Galaxy. It feels it feels like that stuff. Oh, that's a game that needs to be played. Somewhere. Yeah. So so like I was actually kind of excited. I was like, you know what? I remember those games. Those, yeah. those games were pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and this feels a lot like that, just with Studio Ghibli kind of horning in on some of that. Yeah. All right. Getting, well, grabbing the headlines. That was the attract screen. Uh, yeah, I just you know figured I'd let that roll. So what's your audio it's a, language here? It's English. Such a pretty game. Yes. <laughs> what? Don't don't even. Just stop, oh, man. Oh, I'm shitting all over this chair. <laughs> <laughs> Original Japanese or bust, man. You pooped your pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, so, yeah. uh, I actually think the dubbing is fantastic in this game. Largely because of one character. I have I, I was a completely uh, uninformed no, shitting no, up my pants. No, you're so. fine. <laughs> uh, it just tends to happen around It's pretty here. looking. It, it, the game is beautiful, man. It is... Like if we're not if we're not talking about this game at the end of the year for like a, a best art consideration, yeah, it's been a tough year. Maybe I still have game of the year on the brain, but yeah. like I'd look at this and I'm just like, and this is this is <laughs> that's some light bulb <laughs> doink. The camera Wait, angles here, that? oh, it's just water dripping. A little bit weird. They don't change the camera angles. Oh, it's fixed. This is about 15 minutes into the game. It's Resident just, Evil Ghibli. I loaded this up because uh, there's a little bit of nice setup here for what's going on. So I, am, uh, I and here and you know here's some of the animations so you can see it because it's actually uh, this stuff reminds me of like you remember back in the day like the PlayStation Final Fantasies when it was like every time what you beat a boss or, or you did something momentous and you got like the little well, 30 second CG. Yeah. And, like it feels like that. It's like, oh, I, I just beat a hard boss. Here's my reward. Here's yeah. like, here's 30 seconds of animation. Sure. So that's kind of how they pepper the, the like Xeno Cross or Xeno, the Xeno game. Right. I feel like right. I had a lot of that. Like you're playing to get that awesome animation. Yeah. So I mean, Professor Layton is kind of the same way, right? Like, a, little, a little less. Not that often, yeah. but that's the point. You yeah, know, you only get you only get these 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 really nicely animated sequences every you know couple hours or something. I will say, it's not even close. The uh, this is cool. You're right. The voice acting is good. It's it's fine, and and I'm specifically doing this intro stuff because the character that kind of saved the game for me is going to pop up here soon. I I, I bet some people. Are going to be annoyed with him, but whatever. It's that's personal taste. But. So, so it's unfortunate because I feel like uh, this stuff. I don't know for some reason. Layton seemed to mesh the animation, at least aside from the previous, the, the newest one, which yeah. has the 3D models. Right. Uh, mesh the 2D uh, animation and the in-game stuff very well. Right. Uh, this stuff a little. Not as much. Not as much. Right. Uh, Although, like I said, where I'm at in the game now, they're they're hardly. Uh, Giving you any of that 2D animation at all? Oh, really? Actually. Yeah, so very, very it, it, little. It peters out a bit. Uh, it's, it's it's more like I think they just front load the game a lot to kind of wow you, huh. uh, and then there's a little bit less. But you get a lot of this stuff. Yeah, I mean, this um, looks, it's not like it looks bad. It's just you know. Just well, they're basically they're basically three tiers of presentation. There's right. the there's the 2D stuff, which is very it. scarce, and then there's this stuff, which is like still well animated and voice acted and stuff. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Um, and what's the third? The third is just like where they're kind of standing stock still and talking with text. Oh, like that, okay. Yeah. So actually, I wish there was a lot more of this stuff. Who are you? Because even this stuff is kind of lessening as I go. 
where it's it's mostly they just kind of stand around jawing with with text only. Okay. So there's not as much custom animation and voice acting as uh, you might expect as was there was earlier in the game. Oh, she's a ghost girl. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit here. What? When do you drive the car? Right now. Yeah. Oh. The boy who will save the world. So this is the part where I was like, maybe I don't want to play this game. Oh, where you forgot it was a Japanese RPG. Yes. Like, he might as well just have amnesia and, like, a mysterious pendant uh, when you hear that line, right? Yeah, well... Of course he's gonna save the world. Well, at least they're calling it world and not Gaia. Yes. You know. Uh, although I think her cloak looks really cool. You like that? She's got, she's got the universe in there. Does that mean it's like she's made of the universe and there's rips or the stripes painted on? I don't know. Who can say? Well, how do you know it's a girl? Uh... Because, I don't know, let's do it. It's got like the guy girl. It's like, whoa! What? What is that? What did that parakeet do? Okay, sure. I'll go with girl. It's got baritone undertone in there yeah, somewhere. A little bit. So what is the story that's, here? That's your mama. I'm gonna skip ahead a little. Prophesized more. boy gonna save the world. She has a dream. Some stuff happens. It's actually, it's it's way more uh, complicated than that. Uh, I don't want to get hung up too much on the setup stuff here. The Halloween song? Right? But like I said, you know, like so much of the animation is concentrated here that I wanted to show you this stuff. Yeah, no, but, it's good. I mean, the, you, you come for that Studio Ghibli. Yeah. Ghibli? Sure. Ghibli's? I, I don't I used to think it was Ghibli, but then I heard a lot of people say Ghibli, and I don't know. Ludic ludicrous Ghibli's, man. <laughs> I don't know. Are you going to drive this thing? Maybe. I'll try. Why is this kid driving a car? Well, it's like a go kart. It's just, is this like based in the real world, or yes? Is this, well, okay. so I've 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 begun to feel like this takes place in the same Japanese Europe in which Leighton is set. <laughs> right. Perhaps like a, maybe a couple decades later. <laughs> All right. Uh, but it really feels like that. You're in a town called Motorville. Oh, it's like big on cars, like Detroit. I know, but it's a it's a t it's a little hamlet, you know. The Detroit of Japanese Europe. Yep. A turn yes. of the century Japanese yes. Europe, Detroit. Yes, exactly. Oh no! Good job building that car, I know, dick. Right? Some some. Oh, I forgot to put the lug nuts in. <laughs> now he's dead. <laughs> Ollie. Also, I can't swim. Wait, that's your mom. She came looking for you. What's her accent? I don't know. They're real inconsistent with <laughs> it's mostly British. Except for him and the other kid and a few other people. But there's also a whole lot of British accents. It's, re it's really weird. It's like why why the mom and, and the kid And they all speak English, right? Yes. Yeah. Why the mom and the kid have different accents, I couldn't tell you. Oh, maybe she's an immigrant. Uh, well, but like I said, a lot of the other people around here also have British accents. Maybe she immigrated to her home country. Makes sense to me. So I kind of want to skip ahead because this isn't actually really the stuff so what, I want yeah, to see. So yeah, what do you play? When do you, <laughs> where's the part? So this game takes a while to get going. Hey, I am used to games. I can make play. another one in no time. Hunk of dunk? What? Uh, yeah, like uh, to the point that like 90 minutes into the game, I was like, I don't know if I can keep going with this. Like it's so slow. But then it really picks up. Uh oh. Wait. Is she dying? Ali. Ali. Are you okay? Mom? What's wrong? She's obviously not okay. Oh my. Mom? She always did have a weak heart. Mom, oh, dear. Is this before cell phones? Yes. Mom. Moom. Moom. <laughs> Wait, keep it light. Moom. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad yeah. that I talked you into sitting for this because I feel like let's let's skip ahead a little bit. She doesn't she doesn't die, right? She totally dies. Oh no, really? Yeah. Oh man. Do you want right. to see it? Yeah, it's no, pretty ridiculous. No, I don't want to see that. It's pretty ridiculous the way it plays out, actually. But uh, I'm glad you're here because I feel like uh, I feel like uh, among our group here, only only your heart has the buoyancy to to truly appreciate this game. Does that mean it's real dark? Like no, no. It's like this game is so excruciatingly earnest. Oh, you know what I mean? Okay. Hey, that's like that parakeet that the, the witch lady had. Like, there is not a hint of irony in, about anything in this game. Like, it is so... The kid says jeepers. Aww. You know what I mean? That's cute. What happened to his leg? Like, it is... It is. Uh, he, he, like, sprained it or something. Anyway, yes, the mother dies. Uh, 
Was, and this is before you, you kind of play it all? Oh, this is, this is, yeah. Well, you saw my save game. This is like 20, 25 minutes into the game. I mean, that's on the back of the box. Oh, oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, like, mom dies? <laughs> Big text on the back of the box. Your mother is dead. <laughs> the quest begins. <laughs> um, um, is that apple pie? So, th this game is playing, it's straight... Yes. Extreme, like... I mean, this is sad stuff. I mean, it is, it is. Died. It is sad. For sure. To take care of you. Mommy spent a long time making him. I'm sure he'll look after you very well. But it's also in the context of Animu. Like, this is, that is like, uh, you know... I wouldn't go that far. Mommy. I feel like a lot of animes I have seen... Something wrong, sweetie? Mom, mom doesn't make it. Eh, okay, Just yeah. Soon, okay? Sure. You know, a kid has of to fulfill, course, we'll you know, his destiny. Together, right. Always. Always. Except in Full Metal Alchemist, where <laughs> pretty sure <laughs> they do bad things to their mom. Pretty sure they try to bring her Please. back to life, and it really doesn't go well, and there's a lot of bad stuff. I could be wrong. I, I haven't seen that show in a while. Oh, Jesus. That's cool. So this is pretty much the jumping off point. Losing mom, game. game of gain a friend. Yeah. You just witnessed the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Um, who? What are you deaf or something? Drippy, Lord High, Lord of the Fairies. I said, didn't I? Drippy. That's right, and I'm sick to the teeth of you were sniveling and mourning. A proper crybaby bunt in you are. Wow. Three days, man. I mean, I've been sad before. I'm really glad there's some titles on right now. <laughs> a drop of water left in you. You're a big boy, man. Three days is where this unheard of. What? I, uh... Oh, dear, a bit flummoxed, a wee bit lost for words. Not to worry, man, I got all the answers. Oh, but uh, prepare yourself. Explaining all this is going to take a while. Ready? Let's think about the weird phonetic spellings in the... So I had to look this up. I wasn't sure. It's It's Welsh. Huh. Uh. Uh huh. So the guy, the guy who did the localization for this game is. is Stay that way, okay? If it's possible to be a legend of Japanese localization, yeah. I guess he is. Like he was, he did a bunch of the Square stuff over the last like okay. twenty see, years and see, stuff. See, what it is is there's more worlds out there than this one by you. There's what you might call parallel worlds. See, they like worlds oh, yeah. the side yeah. of the one. See what I mean? See the Welsh. Like this guy is super entertaining. I think. Another yeah. world. Another world? Everything I know There's about one Welsh one dialects, I learned from Torchwood. <laughs> well, there you go. Owen! And I think it's a fantastic a accent. See? Shada, the dark djinn his name is, and what he did was, he took over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world. Tried to stand up to him, I did, and he turned me into a flipping doll and kicked me out of our world and into you as the rotter. Uh-huh. <laughs> And then you went and cried all over me and poof! What does it sound like in Japanese? So I, I looked that up too. Yeah. Like I guess uh, in the original game he has a, a really heavy Osaka accent. Uh, so they basically wanted to give him a similar, like, a different regional, right, right, like a really thick kind of linguistic identity. Um, me? But like aside from all the just kind of vocal stylings, he's a really amusing character, you know, he's really, he's a little bossy, and he's like he's your mentor, but he's a little bossy and a little flip, Sure, you know, like he really keeps it entertaining. He is a flippin' doll. <laughs> flippin' Heckman. So, okay, so, so, alright, you want me to skip through this? Well... Sorry, I must have misheard you. What did you Animation say? styles aside, What's you said there's three tiers. Sounds like there's a lot of voice work in this. There game. is, there is, but like I said, even I mean, this stuff kind of it still happens, but but it's a lot more of just people standing around with text bubbles. Mm -hmm. uh, like all like, fully voiced? No, no, no. That's oh, what I'm just saying. Text like, I'm saying this this is sort of the, the tier underneath the 2D stuff. Yeah, yeah. But then okay. the bulk of the exposition is just, just gonna be text people kinda, you know, mild gestures and and, a, no and, a, and a text mm -hmm. thing at the bottom. And no VO. Like, this stuff basically makes me wish the whole game was voiced, you know? What, because you were right, because it's good. Uh, it is, it really is. Yeah. Uh, so I want to see you play this game. Uh, Alright, you want me to just plow through this? Oh, At some point. Uh, okay. Like, I can, I, can, I can bomb out of here now if you want. But there's, there's a lot of heady concepts in this. So he's, he's from, like, a fairy tale land. Yeah. Uh, Let's see now. Okay, well, actually, he's going to explain it right here if you want to see it. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? 
the great sage Alicia. <laughs> then we might just be able to save your mom. What? What are you talking about? I saw yeah, Full Metal Alchemist. You can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> The souls of people in your world and my world are connected. Oh, is this the big... People yeah. from over by you have another version of themselves over be by a... there called a soulmate. Did you get all that? Right. People with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, you were ma'am, well, she shared a soul with the great sage Alicia. A proper talent she was. Huh? So my mom was a sage? No. But... What? How does that help huh? us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the Dark Jinn, but his power was too much for her, and he trapped her in this dark jewel called the Soul Snare. When that happened, then the link between hers and you and Mam's souls would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link, and who knows, it might even bring you Mam. Wait a second, Brad. <laughs> Is that really true? I can't be sure now, but it's possible, yeah. So, wait, if everybody's got wait. a link, right? Yeah. How do you know all this, Mr. Drippy? You've been a doll this whole time. Ah, now there's clever of you. Good question, lad. It's like this, see? I'm not the only fairy. Even though I was stuck by you, my buddies were keeping me abreast of all the goings on over there. My but How? buddies. I suppose it's what you might call telepathy. And that's not all. I was sending my lordly orders back over there, too. Having them spy on Shaddaa and that, you know, tidy, huh? Hmm? What is it? Oh. I'll... I'll do it. I'll come to you okay. Alone. So doesn't he have I'll a with you an analog? So I'm there? waiting. I'm waiting for that to become a major plot point. It's the obvious conclusion, right? But then if he's got, he must have a soulmate over there that I'm going to run into. But if everybody's got a soulmate, does right. that mean you're immortal? Okay. No. Can you never die? Well, so, but freeing her soulmate might bring her back to life. So like bad things that happen to somebody in one world can affect people in the other. So uh, it's actually, that's, that's become something, I, I'll probably do it more, but I've done it like a couple times now, where like somebody over there is in trouble, and I have to kind of come back here and fix their problems in this world, and then go back over there, and then they can help me out there. So did she, the mom here have a heart attack because the other one was imprisoned in seems, the gym? That seems to be the implication. So it was the cause of her heart attack, so freeing her might bring her back to life, that's, even though she's buried in the ground? That's the idea. But... I feel like the emphasis on how he's not sure it's actually going to work okay. may be foreshadowing. I don't know. Uh, also, there's a fair amount of Harry Potter in this game. What does that mean? Uh, what could be hidden in a place like this? Narnia. Like, like orphaned, orphaned boy down on his luck who uh, finds a spell book and a wand. Uh, and then finds out he actually has a bunch of magic powers. Uh, anyway, I, do you want me to... Really? Jump I'll, I'll later. see you, yeah, do a control. Ah, gotcha. Let's jump later in the game. So yeah, the, the spell book is a, a major component of the game. Uh, not to make this quick look too, too Yay. top, too top heavy, but there's just there's a whole lot of. All right, can I skip that? I don't know. I really, I really like that all all of his, like all of his dialogue, even just the text stuff is still like you can kind of hear it in his voice. You know, sure. it's still written with that kind of flair. Uh, like all the localization is is really good. Like. Uh, wait, you named the I book? Just, I just need to get to a point where it'll let me... This is all, you know, like I said, super early game Tidy. setup right. stuff. Magic in our way over to my world, is it? Mm, now let's see. Stuff's so entertaining, I don't want to skip it, what is but... It? I'll let you see it for yourself. Sure. Uh, uh. Yeah, like, you know, it's it's probably... So, are so, you, so you, who you, are you controlling? Okay. Me, just okay. me. Uh, and he, he's kind of with you all the time. Uh, Find a stick you can use as a wand. Dang it, sorry. Yeah, you lose the we're having We're having major PS3 issues where we keep... This controller keeps losing sync. Weird. Even though it's plugged in. Anyway. Alright. Wait, fire. you just... Are you bailed out? Yeah, I'm just gonna load up another. Alright. So, so, you know... So there's your setup. All that stuff happens. Your mom dies. Your, the fairy comes to life. He's like, oh, you're, you're actually the pure-hearted boy. But by going here and freeing this warrior in my world, you might save your mom. And right. That's the main thing. Or kind of a famous wizard, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then to so, do that, you kind of have to take on the big baddie? Yes. Although, from that very initial cutscene there, you can kind of infer that he is not actually the biggest big baddie. <laughs> but he may be more of a medium baddie. <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, so... In but anyway, yeah, so he, you know, he very quickly magics you right. over to his world. Our hero sets out on his journey. Uh, yes. Crosses the first threshold. Right. Gets so his boon. <laughs> we're we're rocking. Has right. his mentor so, character. Yep. Got it. So you're over here. You're in... Uh, this is the first town. When do you take on the guardian of the first threshold? Uh, I've already done that, I think. What? So this is in fairy tale land? Yeah. So, uh... 
Well, I wouldn't say the story is not as it's not as formulaic as like oh there are you know three crystals you must obtain. Yeah, when did you do the did you do the fire dungeon yet? Uh, like it, it, it so far it has definitely has not been that that rigid you know or predictable. Uh, Whoa! Also, there's a lot of animal people. Is that in this an game. animal person or just oh, a really messed like, up she's lady? Like a half animal. Oh man, the bad half. This is it's really it's a really weird game. Oh, and she runs the cat's cradle. Um. <laughs> like, yeah, she's not getting the, like, cute cat ears part. She's right. gone a little too far. But your custom is appreciated. Mm. Damn it, sorry. Just lost Man, controller now. again. Um, yeah, it's weird. It's like the king of... The king of this town is a cat. And there are a lot of... Anthropomorphic cats walking around, but there's also just a lot of regular human people. No, well, it's a fairy tale world. It's right? really strange, yeah. And like, I I just got to a town where there are a whole bunch of cows that talk. Like, well, yes, like talking, walking. Like the the queen of this other town Oliver. is a cow. Oliver. What do they eat? Is this a no dream sequence from your mom? Yeah. We just need to get a move. There's on a here. lot of text, man. There is. Oh, it's it's JRPG. <laughs> yeah. Um, J for John. Yeah, really. I like the color palette. It's, man, like, it, not to harp on it too much, but, uh, well, alright, this it, controller it, thing is getting to be real. You know, kind of, it kind of reminds me of that, um, uh, Naruto game. The, the, yeah, kind of. The opening world one. Cell shading around. and stuff. Like, uh, I, like, it's got a good look like that. Yeah. Like, sharp. Look at that. Mm. That's definitely a part of what's really kept me going through it, you know? Like, I, I mean, I, I really like just about everything about it, but... There's a cat. Yeah. That's a straight cat. Totally. There's a cat walking around. There's no anthropomorphizing there at all. That cat should just be on all fours. But it talks. What, what is that? It's a side quest. Oh, wow. It's like an errand. Oh, I see you fight. Okay. Wait, did they call it Grimwalken? Yes. Is that, uh, does that ring a bell? Yeah. It's like a... I thought that was Norse. So, there's a ton of Maybe stuff in this well. game. I don't even know where to start. So this is an earlier save, I don't have as much here. Maybe I'll show you this stuff later. There's a Pokemon aspect to this game. That's cute. You collect familiars that fight for you. pretty cute. Uh, yeah, it totally is. Uh, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll get into some of this stuff later. The thing I just picked up is uh, a side quest. So there are errands and then there are bounty hunts. Which are both just like side quests. The Grimwalken! Uh, like that one is just find her lost earring, but then mm. some of them are sort of straight up go out and kill ten of this thing. Uh, and every time you do either a bounty hunt or an errand, mm -hmm. you get a stamp on your merit stamp card. Oh my gosh. Uh, and then every time you fill up a card, it gives you one point, and then Woo. you can cash those in for, for these... For free sub. For these... <laughs> uh, for some pretty good stuff. It's like, here's here's one that just lets you run faster on the world map. Mm -hmm. um, here's one that lets you sneak up on enemies easier. Okay. Stuff like that. So there is definitely a lot of side stuff to do in this game as you go. But, uh... Uh, move on here. Yeah, I've seen that term before for a like, cat familiar. Oh, really? Uh, I actually wrote this like little comic with a cat buddy named Grim. That's super weird. Yes, yeah, it's, it's random. I, I forget where it's from though. Like with the etymology or like cultural. I think I, yeah, I think it sounds familiar. So now what are you doing? Whoa! Check me out. What's up, Link? I got my traveling gear. What's in your holster? Uh, I think that's where your wand goes. Is it okay pink or is it red? Uh, it's, a boy, it's getting into the pinkish I think it's, realm. I don't know. All right, whatever, man. It's fairy tale land. I think it's. I think it's acceptable. <laughs> I think that's hey, a. I am not judging pink or blue for boys and girls. I think that is an acceptably unisex I'm kind, just, of, kind a, of cloak. As a colorblind man, I'm just getting confirmation on the right. uh, on the color of this cloak. I think anyone could. <laughs> Pink and blue used to be reversed. I told you anybody that. Before, could, right? Anybody could look sharp in Pink that for thing. boys, blue for girls. I would say. It's uh, a pretty sharp looking cloak. So, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, that's some good cape physics. I know, right? Look at that. How good is that? Until its elbow clips through. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I wonder if it will. I think, I've never seen it. it it's, I mean, like, the, everything about the presentation of the game is just impeccable. Pretty sharp, good polish. It's really, really nice. Alright. Are you going to fight? Uh, yeah, or sure. Do I, do I have to do I this think on I, my own? I mostly. <laughs> sorry. I mostly wanted to come here just to show you, like, 
how awesome some this of looks. the yeah some of the kind of the, the visual range of this game. I mean, I mean by doing this on my own, I mean like I oh, feel like I'm gonna go play this. You really home. should. I'm really really enjoying it so far. Uh, it um, seems like though this could take me into 2015. Uh, it is. Uh, so I've heard uh, reviewers. I know. I, I've I've put like eight nine hours into it. Yeah. Uh, reviewers I know that have finished it have done like fifty to sixty to finish it. I bet. Um, hey, it's a JRPG. What yeah, you? totally. And and and. <laughs> And you kind of slice the pie in this urn. To, to the extent that, that some of them have said, like, hey, if you kind of stop doing the side stuff, like, you're going to have a rough time at the end of the game. Uh, there's a lot of hidden stuff. Here's a ghost. So, are these uh, just soul-linked people? This guy is actually a ghost. Oh. Uh, he gave me a spell. Yeah, so, cool. people, basically, you found the spell book, but it's almost empty. Mm. Uh, and people are kind of helping you fill in the... Uh, the pages, so if, if people have a spell book page, or like a, a page with an actual spell on it, they can just give it to you and then you learn the spell. Did he show up on your map or you just knew he was here? Uh, I already knew he was here. I just came here to show you that like there's a whole lot of stuff off to the side. This, yeah. is, this is not You're main certain. story stuff. Can you swim? Uh, not that I've seen. But you can, you can, you can pop up this and cast, there are a lot of, a lot of spells that are not combat related, they're just kind of world related. Okay. So like this is the spirit medium spell that this guy just gave me is, is a thing that lets you talk to ghosts. Wait, he wasn't talking to you before? No. Oh. So, so basically now that I have that spell, if I meet other ghosts in the world. That sounds kind of tedious. I can use that. Eh, it's it's that not like a one time thing? No, no. You, I, in fact, I've met him again elsewhere and had to use the thing. I don't know if there will be other ghosts to meet or whatever. Yeah, that doesn't seem, I don't understand that mechanic. Like, why would you have to do that every time? What, well, do, what is that fun? Uh, it takes five seconds. <laughs> you should, you should think, have just cleared a, a dungeon and gotten that power I feel like, forever. I feel like it all, well, maybe. I feel like it all kind of goes to that Harry Potter-esque feeling of, like, having magic at your fingertips. Yeah. And being able to do stuff with it. Because, mm. like, you know, you can do this. Like, I, I got a spell that lets you unlock a lot of, uh, like... Basically, any normal lock you can use the spell on. Oh, I see. So it's like, you know, if you find a locked chest, you can use it, but also there are, like, story points where, like, oh, this door is locked, let's magic it open. Can you, you can't jump in that uh, water? No, you can't get in there. Okay. Uh, uh, right, so you're just basically using magic right. as convenience? Yes. Uh, and there's actually, there is a really core mechanic of this, not to just, like, lay out every mechanic in the game. I do, yeah. There, there's a mechanic where this dark djinn who's, like, kind of taking over the land can break people's hearts. Wait, what's the glowy on your map? The glowy dot. Where was that? Back north. Yeah. Uh, can oh, break that's, that's a person with a side quest. Break hearts. Yeah. So let's so let's jump to where I'm actually at in the game. What do you say? And do some Sh fighting and yeah, some like, yeah, real yeah, sure. stuff. Yeah. So they break hearts and then you repair their hearts with magic. So yeah. So like like in the parlance of this game world, to break the heart of yeah. someone means to take a piece of their kind of essence. Oof. And it's divided up into. Do you want to switch it to Japanese for you? Ah, uh, not really. Okay. I'll probably go back at some point and check it out. So, so they take a part of your essence, and then and it, and it falls into categories like kindness and enthusiasm and courage and stuff like that. Uh huh. So if you meet a person who's brokenhearted, they're kind of out of it. They don't want to help you. They don't want to talk. They don't want to do anything. And to help fix them, you kind of have to go find a person with an excess of that trait. Oh really? Yeah. Who's and, got and too much? Yes. And, and then you like store literally, it. it all goes in the locket. You totally store it. Like I have, <laughs> I have some extra enthusiasm right now that I borrowed from somebody. Do they kind of embody that trait? Where you're yeah, like, like you, when you meet them. I mean, they glow on your map and your locket glows. But so are they just like a little too? But, but yeah, when on. you go talk to them, if it's like if it's a person with extra kindness, they're just like trying to give everything they have to everybody. Okay. You know, or if That's they're enthusiastic, they're practically jumping out of their <laughs> their pants. Yeah. Um, and you ask to borrow some, and they give it to you, and you keep it in this locket, and then you. Bring it back to that. Yeah, you bestow it on the other person. Oh, mystical, uh, mystical fetch quests. Kinda, yeah. It's it's a little fetch questy, but it's all side stuff. Like none of that is the core of the game. Hey, dude, check out this other town. Yeah, here, check out Desert my, Town. Check out Desert Town. Narutama. Sure. What's the name of this town? Uh, it sounds like Indiana Jones music playing. Oh, uh, this is Mamoon. Nice. Which is ruled by a cow. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like I said. Yeah. Um. All right, let's go out of here. I do enjoy that they have the uh, "Hey, this is where you were" trail on your yeah. mini map. Yeah, that's I wish more games did that. Sure. Like you came in through this door. That's definitely. Whoa, helpful. that sounds tiny. Oh, How'd you know? Oh, this is crazy. So uh, I just got my first actual party member, besides me. How was the girl? That blonde girl down oh, there. How about the dude? Uh, so he's not really a party member, but he's traveling with us right now. Uh, so they they've sent me to you know. 
check another cliche off your list. They're sending me to the Temple of Trials. Oh, cool. This is the first, like, real sage that I've met, and he's like, oh, you need to prove yourself as a, as a wizard. Oh, God. Is he gonna fight you? I was, I should have read that. Hey, that's a... Oh. That doesn't look so Watch bad. This. I wonder if they're gonna... <laughs> what do we got going on here? <laughs> oh, interesting, okay. Pick who leads the battle, so... Oh, really? I'd... All right. Well, I don't know. I kind of like my stuff, but sure, whatever. So she's got a familiar as well. Yeah. Um, leader can boss everybody around. See, okay. Wow. This is like a whole other layer of stuff I haven't seen yet. But he's. Oh, well, all right. Easy enough. Why would you change your, your leader? Well, now I have double the fighting power, except that I really would prefer to be uh, the guy that I'm familiar with for now. So basically, oh, I, you I can see, see they go on autopilot otherwise? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so she, it's all real time? Yeah. You can't Well, kind of. It's real time Active movement. time? It's real time. <laughs> a little more active than that. Uh, so you basically pick which character you want and then they each have familiars. She's only got one because I just got her, so... Yeah, that's your Pokemon aspect you were stick talking to, about? Stick to my dude, yeah. And these guys, you level these guys up, you feed them different stuff to increase their stats, and yeah. then they can evolve into, like, more evolved into forms. Dreamcast. got it. Yeah, basically. You know, let them hang out in your Chow Garden for a little <laughs> while. Um, but, but, but so, so the, the movement is real-time to the point that you can actually, like, dodge a lot of attacks. See? Okay, like, yeah, I'm totally yeah. just dodge that guy. Uh, but then... You pick commands in real time, but then it pauses to kind of say, "Who do I want to? Who do I want to use this and on?" And use that up. Uh, except the controller just died again. Oh uh, yeah, so you can like pick which, and then you just you, know, you do you do your stuff. Oh god! Apparently Esther's dead. Oh great. no! Great way to pull your weight there. She's not dead. She's really making a great first impression. She's just been knocked out. Uh, so the the familiars have a bunch of like special abilities. Quite Looking handy. Looking good. Uh, but they also, if you see up there, you, this little ring around him is draining. Yeah. Uh, when that runs out, you can't use him anymore for a while. So he, So you need to kind of keep an eye on... Uh, is that just time or is that health? Uh, or is it like go down No, it's just time. It's stamina. Him? It just runs out over time. So you need to kind of switch to a different guy. Do they have health? Uh, yeah, they do. Where well, no, no, I'm sorry. Well, everybody shares the same health bar, so... Uh, Oliver's, so Oliver's health is your health. Uh, kill it! Kill it! Um, this guy can psych up. And then go wild! Yeah. How can he have uh, got a little animation? It's, it's basically just kind of a faster attack. As if this game were not complicated enough already. Is the, that a monkey cat? The, the enemies, sure. All the enemies and the familiars have like an elemental alignment. There's like sun, moon, star, and I think earth. Uh, and it's like a paper, rock, scissors. The, the moon's not an element. Oh. I'll tell them that. It's what science books you've been reading? I don't know. <laughs> what is that? Don't, uh, don't tell Neil, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Tyson been telling you. <laughs> moon's definitely an element. The four elements: the sun, moon, stars, and water. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, that's cool. All right, so I guess I can I can you trade don't familiars give with people. Her your familiar. I'm going to. Don't give her your familiar. Uh, well, it's because you know that means that you could customize it so that certain familiars could be in play at the same time. Sure. You know? And uh, do the, their quote-unquote elemental attacks, can they combine? Uh, I don't know about that. Like wind and water and do a tsunami? I don't, I don't know about that, but it, it's definitely the case of like, you know, like a moon enemy is weak to a sun familiar. Got stuff it. Stuff like that, so you kind of want to... How do you scout them? It just shows it on the menu. Highly uh, effective? Yeah. So random... Oh, okay, not random encounters. No, no, they're all on the in dungeons and out here that you can see them. Um, How much grinding have you had to... I've basically fought every battle that I've run into. Really? Oh god, he saw me. Is it auto battle after a while? If they're too weak? No. Well, actually, what's funny is... Uh, I'm gonna try to deal with these guys. Uh, so we got one moon and one star guy. So sun is strong against... Uh, sun is strong against moon, so I'll use him on this guy. Oh, I'm getting... Ow! Ow! Oh yeah. Yeah. You need a heal. You can you can heal straight guy. up use your dues as well if you want, like your human people. That seems like a little bit. I, I mean, you're just showing this off, jumping jumping us right in. A lot to keep track of. It really is. There's, but but you know, I'm I'm like ten hours in the game almost. 
Oh, she's just yeah, she's, she's not. just going down. I mean, maybe I need to. Like, know, are you not using her well? Well, she. Ah, stupid controller. We gotta fix this. I don't know what would make a PS3 lose sync with its controllers. And it was two controllers, it's right? It just totally just happened again. Yeah, we tried two different controllers. There's another PS3 turned on. I wonder if it's interfering oh. with it. Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. All right, hopefully, hopefully we can knock this out. It's actually not looking good at all. Wow, alright, well. That's it, Drippy's still alive. First time I've ever died, it's time to find out what happens when you die. Um. I wonder if you start, uh. Are there hard saves? Oh, interesting. <laughs> Wait, or no? Or that's <laughs> it? That's just the end of the game? Well, I guess you'd reload your save. Well, okay, I guess it just takes you back to the beginning of the, of the battle. Oh, like the last... That's cool. Well, it's probably the last place you exited, right? Yeah, because like, you can save anywhere you want. Uh, you don't any, need a anywhere, or something? Anywhere except dungeons. So you uh, can so, save right here? Yeah, or in the middle of the town or whatever. But in a dungeon, you can only save at save points. So if you if you got... Oh, God. No! Oh, don't get, no! Is there like a backstab no! kind of thing? Yeah, if he, if he hit me in the back, it would be He'd, he'd get a first news. shot or something? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so you, you can't really outrun enemies if they see you, but the, f the funny part is that um, the higher level you get, uh, the less they'll want to fight you. Right. To the point that if you really out-level them, they'll just straight up run away from you every time you get near them. So you basically don't have to fight enemies that aren't worth your time. What does Droopy do? Uh, he just hangs out, but if you see, like, that... Dude, oh, man, controller... Nice those, those little green and blue orbs that he throws out, those are just extra health like and magic. Support. Yeah. So that stuff's good to keep up with. All right, what salted ice cream? What uh, kind of oh, leveling sorry. system do you got? Hang on, I'm gonna pull the cord on this thing. Rip the cord. See if this helps. How's your battery power now? I don't know. Two bars. Two right, bars. Let's, let's roll with it. Uh, how has the leveling system? Is it just auto? Hey, I gained a level. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll apply points to it, or do you too get too slow? Um, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty standard stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think where. Well, I don't know what's standard anymore in RPGs. I mean, you can see over there. Point you don't, distribution. Oh or, well, you don't distribute any any points. What do you all. get to choose? Anything? Uh, you got you got like kind of weapons and and buff items and stuff. So it's more inventory Trinkets. stuff. Yeah, but but even even the familiars all all can be equipped with things. Uh, so. When you gain a familiar, do they kind of come in at a level or a level below where you are? Yeah, but they catch up really fast. Okay. Uh, and I, and I've, I've heard that even later on, when because you can only have three guys per character. Yeah. So, um, I've heard even the guys you don't have kind of on you actively at a time are still, gaining still, levels. still getting XP. Oh, that's good. So that's fine. Uh, so there's that stuff, and then here's where you go to like feed them. Like, I don't know. It's, uh... Salt and ice cream. Give this guy a chocolate bar. Why would you give that monkey cat a chocolate <laughs> bar? He's allergic. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate's really bad for those guys. What did he just get? Uh, so he got halfway to another uh, uh, point of attack. Oh, so you're just yeah. forcing their skills up? Force oh, him, dude, he yeah. so love that. Trying to engorge his liver so that I can. Wait a minute. <laughs> um, so they'll they'll become more familiar as you feed them, and they're into that. But I guess they can get fat if they're too full. What is that That's my understanding, which I think is bad for them. I don't know. I haven't dug too deeply into that stuff yet. Uh, what does that What does that stuff mean? What What What's their familiarity? I I don't know how that manifests. Is yet. it like do they run away if they if no? They but it goes up as you feed them more. So I don't know. Okay, I'm sure it's good. <laughs> right. Uh, and fullness is bad. Somehow. Yeah. Since we're digging around in here, like I just love everything about the way this game is is put together. Uh, they've cool. got. Uh, the, the, the attention to detail in this game is... Whoa, weird. wait, are they numbered? Yes. Oh, man. Everything in this game is numbered. Oh, wow. The, the side quests, like the errands and the bounty hunts are numbered, the, the creatures are all numbered, the magic spells you get are all numbered. So these are ones you've encountered? These are only the ones I've encountered, and like, oh, look wow. how ridiculous this is. They're, they're broken up by, uh, like, the area that you met them in. Oh, that guy's cool. Uh, they came up with... Oh, wait, no, that's a search. You can search them? Wow. They came up with genus names for all of them. And this game is it's like, here are the plant monsters. Wow. Here are the, the vermin. Like, how crazy is that? So, like, I, I just, like, I don't know. Why is this game on the Wii U with, like, the touchpad I don't know. and this whole Pokedex? Uh, I know, right? Um, you can uh, you can go back and look at, uh, look at the dungeons you've been to, like, look at the maps. You can see if you got all the chests there and mm. if you uncovered the whole map. Uh, there's a you can kind of keep track of everything you're doing in the game. Um, Great. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then that's not even the most in-depth part of this. Wait, what are life like, if you're, lessons? Uh, it's just the tutorial stuff. Oh, okay. But but they're written they're written really <laughs> like he's really haughty like sure. kind of high class. The high class uh, dwarf. Yeah, it's uh it's really amusing just to read that stuff. But none of that like all that stuff I just showed you pales in comparison to this thing. This thing is crazy. Well, this is the book. Uh huh. So you can actually just do this. It's like a big PDF. It literally is. Like you can literally just zoom down to it. Whoa! And it zooms, really? It zooms into other pages. Ah, the future's here! No, how crazy is this? This is pretty crazy. And, like, look at the quality of the art. And then like it's like, oh, I've been there. You know, I remember that place. You zoom down. Oh, like, oh man. god! Like, how awesome is That's that? It's pretty awesome. Uh, and this is. Did this game come with a manual? It's got a decent manual. I think it's black and white. Is but this the manual? No, this is literally just like, I hate this phrase because it's really trendy, but like the, the world building that this book does, like the, the amount of, and that's just the map. Like This is, this is diving deeper. Look at, look at like here is the bestiary. And you just, just keep zooming into the parts Literally you just zoom down and look at these things. Like, and you can see all the art they did. That's a lot of literally. Uh, like all, all their Can you like keep zooming in? Zoom into fire. Like, that's as close <laughs> as you can get. It starts looking a little pixely when you uh, get that close. Well, all right, so let me, but, ask, let me ask you this. Coolness aside, yeah. is it efficient? Yeah. Okay. Well, so you can also, if you really want, you can just navigate it. All right. Uh, although I, I think that the zooming effect is so neat. Uh, and, like, the way they, like I said, the way they build up the world, like, some of the stuff I'm getting aren't spell pages. They're just these, these, these fairy tales. Like, these are just fairy tales of the world that I'm in. You can also just do this if wow. you want. Um, What's that? But, but oh, these sure these are even this. coming into play because I met a character who gave me this story, and he was like, "All right, now go read that story, and I've got a riddle for you." Oh man! Uh, and I read I read through this story, and then uh, and then after reading the story, he asked me a riddle, and when I got it, he gave me like a, a cool item. So like this this stuff factors in. Like it actually, it's really nice stuff. I mean the the, the translation is fantastic. Like the art's really nice, mm. but but it also you know it also kind of enhances the. Like, the texture of the world around you, and, and it comes into, into play with, like, some of the riddles and stuff, like I said. What's the wizard's uh, pledge? Do no harm? That's just... How do I get to that? That's just where you have to sign your name. Uh, and, and get up... Uh, like... There is an alphabet! Uh, but it's just a character... Oh, no! I actually, I actually no, went to... Right? I went up to some store signs and, like, tried to... Uh, tried to, like, transcribe it. Yeah, how'd that work out? Not so well. Maybe if you took a screenshot of this. I'm glad they did more than just the character swap. But yeah, like it is so detailed. Like I, I, I'm just, I know I'm like nerding out really hard over this stuff, but just seeing this kind of, this kind of care and attention to detail going into this stuff. Is this just is this so, game, or is there? I, I, don't, I think it's all world. made for this game. I might be wrong. Like, uh, is I'm there an to, anime or a, a manga or a well, so there comic was, book? There or was a, a DS box? game. There was a DS game of this in this world. Well, I think it's kind of the same game. I'm not uh, entirely clear. Like, there's a whole alchemy system I haven't even unlocked yet. That's like, you know, collect all these ingredients and you can make all this stuff out of it. I feel like crafting for you... An, crafting an alchemy that I haven't even touched yet. I feel like you do this just out of your iPad. Yeah, just like, like pinch, yes. Pinch the zoom like, and open... Put out, put out the wizard's companion on... As an app? On the iPad, I would read the shit out of it. It's basically just, you know, it's the codex for this game. Right. But I just, I can't get over the presentation of, the, of this stuff. There's Brad even... I don't know, I'm sorry. I'm, no, I'm, I'm really good. babbling here. There was one little more thing I was trying to find. <coughs> Did you sign your name? Uh, oh, I just put Oliver. Yeah. Oh, I don't know where it is. Um, it's buried in here somewhere, but there's there's a little almanac in here written by somebody in this world who managed to make it over to your world. Oh, wow. So it's hilarious seeing like their descriptions of your like your world's kind of steampunk technology yeah. from their perspective. Like they see a steam train as like a great serpent running along a metal track and all this weird stuff. Uh, I don't know where to find that in here. Oh, those ignorant locals. Exactly. Uh, uh, anyway, yeah, like, I just, you <laughs> spend hours just dicking around with all this stuff, and there's still something else I need to get there. Um, so I'll, what would you be doing if I like, you were... I like this game. I don't know if you can tell. If What would you be doing uh, if you were actually questing here? What's your objective? Well, so yeah, that's, uh, I figured I'd head up there to kind of end this. Is uh, right. We got this uh, this thing at the, the Temple of Trials. Like I this said. This looks like an... Uh, and it's sad because it reminds me of a part of my life I'll never get back. Yeah. A great summer vacation game. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, I'm going to, like, 60-hour game. Yeah, I'm just going to eat some popcorn yep. at night and play there's this like, game. There's, and... there's crafting, and there's, like, all these these monsters to collect and evolve. Stay up until 4 in the morning every night. It's like, it's kind of like, it's like a beautiful Final Fantasy mixed with Pokemon. Stop. No. Stop. But different enough where I feel like you... But, yeah, like, the combat is not... I've even seen it. I've seen tone, it, even I've, the tone a little different. I've seen I've seen the combat likened to the Tales series. I haven't played a, mm -hmm. a lot of those in, in a while, so I'd forgotten about all that stuff. But but it is it does have that real time aspect to it. Um, I feel like it is largely a JRPG that a person who has written off JRPGs could still appreciate. You know what I mean? Rekindling a little love. No. Oh. Like I'm not going to go out and play a bunch of other JRPGs. Like this is it for the year, probably. <laughs> Um, hmm? Wow, well, that's oh, just, that, I feel like that just speaks Why to you should never write off a game because of a genre. Well, yeah. Take each game on its Most own merit. Sure, but more to the point, this has hooks in it that brought me well, to it that are not uh, the style of game that it is. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. The genres are dumb. I have to save her. Uh, I'm sure not, yes, well, there are still things that are like, yes, you're gonna, RTS game is going to have this and a JRPG is going to have this. But well, like, well, I mean, for instance, the, the combat is a little heavy in this game. Like, there are there have definitely been points in this game where it's like, all right, enough of the random battles. Like, I really want to just be done with this dungeon so I can see the next part of the story. Like, you definitely run into that thing of like the yes. same enemy sets popping up over and over. That's not a JRPG thing, man. I mean, uh, Dragon Age Two. Sure, that's wow. sure. That was the same thing in there. For, for whatever reason, it just makes it feel more tedious in these kinds of games to me, though. Yeah, it looks uh, grindy. That's yeah, amazing. definitely. And I've I've heard some some of the reviewers I know said that if you give up the grind, like if you don't do a lot of the side quests toward the end, like you're gonna have some issues at the end of the game because it get, it does get hard. Like this this area that I'm in here is way harder than that first area I played. What's our actor? is incredibly powerful. He breaks the hearts of anyone who defies him. I should have uh, turned the subtitles on. Should so we want to pop past this and just yeah. head to the temple? Let's see what's going on in I the Actually, temple. I haven't seen any of this stuff, so I don't really know what to uh, do. We should turn the subtitles on. Yeah, I'll do that. Have you seen places like up there on the cliff where that cat is? Yeah. Like that you're like, oh man, there's a chest or something yes. up there. I gotta figure out totally. how to get there. Not even that. I've seen like giant creatures roaming the land. And you're like, I should go fight that thing. In places that I couldn't get to yet. So I'm guessing there might be an airship or something. Oh, nice. And a drill ship. Maybe Remember that. Oh, I hope so. Oh, that was the best. What Final Fantasy was that? You're saying I'm gonna fly the big whale to the moon. Oh, that's. I think you got like seven ships in that game. Yep. And then you got the one where you could carry the other ship. Like yep. you had the claw. The claw, and then the big whale. Oh. Big Whale is one of my favorite things in all of video games. The Big Whale, yep. go to the moon. Uh, so I just got a new story. Cecil's airship was pretty awesome. The one with the, was it, no, Lox? Oh. Was it was the one with the casino on I'm it. I'm sorry, who? Cecil? Yes. Cecil? I don't care if people say it's Cecil. <laughs> They're wrong. <laughs> It'll always be Cecil. They're wrong. What's, what, uh, I think it was Lox with the casino on it, right? That was, was it always Set, Lox? That was Setzer. You're getting, oh, you're Setzer. getting games mixed up. Which one was Shadow in? S uh, six. Which for, one three. was Fusuya in? Fusuya? Yeah. That was four. Which one was Kefka in? Six. Oh, you and your dumb numbers. <laughs> you mean three? Well, yeah, it's, it's two. As if as if the renaming they did subsequently didn't make it more complicated. I get all of them mixed up. Yeah, it's easy. So yeah, like I, like two I said, two fantastic games. Like I said, a lot of the a lot of the exposition in the, game, in the game is just sort of they're standing around and text is being displayed. Which one is Sabin in? Uh, six. Six. Yeah. Quiz me. Stump me. I'm trying to. Who else is there? Is there Shadow Sabin. Who's the brother? Who's Sabin's brother? Uh, yeah, something with a Y, isn't Ed it? Edgar? Is it Edgar and Sabin? They were, they were the brothers, right? The prince and the, the rogue? Yeah. Yes. Well, he's more of a martial arts dude. It's uh, a bruiser. Well, who's the guy Who's the guy who just has the martial arts dude with the big head who looks like he's wearing an army helmet? Army helmet? Yeah, he looks, he's, he's looks like he's bald. Wait, what? Yeah, he's, uh, he's in the one with... Fusu, so yeah. Fusu, are you thinking about Yang? Yeah, Yang. He just well, he's, he's like a really stereotypical, like chop sake kung yeah, fu guy. Yeah, but his head just looked like a big like, army helmet. To bald, me. bald with like a, a braided ponytail kind yep. of guy. He's pretty awesome. Uh, Yang is all right. Do you remember your party? Not, Who'd you not, truck with? I'm not the biggest Yang fan. <laughs> well, uh, not big on oh that God. Yang. <laughs> you talking Yang? Well, four. Four was one of those games that largely dictated who was in your party by the story, you know? Uh, mm. we, uh, in fact, I th think you, did you so ever really get to pick? Was Shadow in that one? No, uh, Shadow was six. Right. Six is the one where you had a huge posse and you could just pick. It was, it was always Terra 
and Shadow. Uh, Shadow's okay. He's got dog. Not me. Huh? <laughs> Idiots! Oh. I'm the supreme sage. Oh. The little guy. Whoa. That's Lord. just my stupid servant on both parts. <laughs> you know, I mean, if, sorry, this is, this is getting real long. I yeah. know. If you want to play this game with Japanese dialogue, go for it. You know, like I'm not here to say you're wrong or anything. But, oh wow! Uh, yeah, late tile card yeah. on this temple. But but I, I think the the dubbing and the writing uh, are really good. Like the this is probably like I haven't played a lot of JRPGs in a while, mm -hmm. but this is like the most personality that I've ever seen put into the the localization of a game like this. I think it's just really well done. To the point that like I never stop and think like I have with so many of these games like I wonder what the kind of tone and intent right. of the original Japanese were. Yeah. Like it it feels so coherent here, and and so like well rendered. Uh, that it just kind of has its own identity, you know. Like they're not laughing at jokes that you're like, what? Right. Like, like, they, like why they, am I a carrot? Yeah. <laughs> like like they didn't try to preserve cultural context that would make no sense to another culture. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they, they, they smoothed and adapted it in a way that, you know... Uh, should we just... I think, uh, I think I'm ready to wrap this one. Yeah, you're probably right. I, I figured we'd get here and just fight some stuff. Yeah. I apologize well, for, Do you like... even know... Did you, did you do this part yet? No, so I have you, no you're idea. you're gonna have to do this all again. Yeah. So you don't even uh, know where you're, where you're headed now. No, I don't. You're gonna fight a guy. How, is that a save point? That is. I think it's save anyway. Right, this way? Does this count as a dungeon? So, yeah, this is what we get for skipping the dialogue. Yeah. We don't know what we're supposed to do. Look I was just map. hoping... Oh, they're not even giving me a... What's on your mini-map? Anything? Side quest? Oh, dude, what in the world? Well, this guy... Got it. Okay, first the trials room. Trials room, so Alright, here right. we go. That's the trials monitor. Let's go see if we can fight somebody real okay. quick. Can I leave now? There you right. go. Uh, I, oh. do, I do intend to finish this game. I really, really like it. Uh, Are you gonna review it? Well, like I feel like that's it. I'll see you in March. That's the thing. Like the, it would be another Final Fantasy thirteen scenario, right? Right. If, like we've got other content to produce. Maybe we can do updates. Uh, I would. I would be happy to come back if you wanna. If you wanna yeah. hear more. Um, like I said, I still haven't even gotten like the evolving forms of the familiars. Oh God. Here's a little puzzle. Wow. Oh man. Are you, what oh, was that? What was that? What was that? Oh no, that's timed. What was that Nintendo Land? Uh, Game, that multiplayer game in Nintendo Land where you're controlling two characters with, with, uh, with two sticks. Oh, oh god. no! Oh my god. Uh, I don't remember. You know what I'm talking about? I haven't turned my Wii U on. <laughs> launch. Go go go, lady! This, this would have been a good Wii U game. Oh, this isn't so bad. You're a wizard. Famous last words. Let's go talk to that bird. It's not at all what I expected. I expected to just fight a bunch of. Dudes. Wait, what's up with that bird? I don't know. I think it's just a. Shouldn't have done that. Oh jeez! Oh no! 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 You want me to? You want me to finish it out? Yeah! No! Oh no! Wait, what? Ah! The time kept going while I was talking. Ah, wait, oh, it's checkpointed yeah, here. It what like kind it. of wizard trial is this? Or is this the beginning? No, this is not the beginning. I don't think this is the beginning. Oh what? What? You gotta make her go. Oh my god! I feel like a better strategy is to just leapfrog it. You gotta find that lady. Oh, there you go. This is nice to see, though, because like I said, some of the dungeons I've done so far have been a little too much. Like, I kind of want to stop fighting, guys. Oh, God. Oh! I oh, cannot believe I just did that. Rad. This quick looks over. Uh, uh, Ollie and Esther. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, I'm glad to see that there's some variety in the stuff they got this you. Looks, this looks great. It is fantastic. Uh, like, I mean, like, like the, the complaints that I have are fairly minor and specific to the genre. Right. Uh, so if, you're, if that stuff doesn't bother you, like if you're into combat in games like this and stuff, then... And even if you're not, like, I got totally burned out on these kinds of games, but this one has got so much heart, and is so damn charming. Yeah. Like, every bit of it is just so detailed. The only thing we're missing is time. Yeah, seriously. Shit. Yeah, like, to, to have reviewed this properly... Oh, jeez. ...would have been an impossibility with the kind of schedules that we have. Uh, but I... I fully intend to finish this game because it's just too good not to. Uh, and only on the PS3 right now? Uh, yeah, it's an exclusive. Like, the, that DS game came out. Oh, this is getting real tense. Oh boy. Uh, oh boy. Hey, oh no. Eat your words now, huh? Oh, what if there's a gap there that I can't see? They wouldn't do that. Nah, you're good. 
Seemed like it was waiting up for you a little bit. Maybe. Oh, oh geez. Go get that with the girl. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I was not looking. You're We're brain. done. All right. We're done. Uh, thank you, Brad. Uh, yeah. It looks very cool. Nino Cooney available now. Yeah, it's on out. PS3. It's out now. It's full uh, price. Pretty great. Go yeah. Get a disc and, and have some. Yeah, posts. I wouldn't expect to see this on any other platform. Get ready so to install it on your PS3. Yes, mandatory installs all up in this. Uh, very cool. And yeah. thank you, Drew, for for hanging out. For yeah. Sorry an that hour. was so. Sorry that was so long. I mean, there's just so much in this, you know. Sure. And like the more of it I uncovered, the more delighted I was with everything that was going on. I just felt like. I like it, it bore some explanation. Yeah. Sure. Thanks, Finny. Thank you.